Gamers and moviegoers, I've got quite the week for you. There's a fair amount of games coming out, which is awesome, and even some okay looking movies coming out, which is a little less than awesome, but it's still pretty darn cool. Let's take a gander at what the week's got in store for us. I don't mean to start the show with a show stopper, but Dark Souls 2 is finally coming to the PC and I am so gosh darn excited. I've been waiting for it for about a month since its console release and have abstained from reading anything on the game, which is kind of tough when it's one of the most popular games out there right now. Now we can only hope that they did a good job porting the game, let's not hope for a Dark Souls 1 scenario of terrible resolution settings and a shoddy frame rate. This next game is sort of like Dark Souls 2, except not like Dark Souls 2. Demon Gaze is a JRPG that's being released for the PlayStation Vita and looks to be one of those hardcore dungeon crawlers. By hardcore I mean you better enjoy grinding the same floor of a dungeon for hundreds of hours because if you go down to the second floor of that dungeon, your entire party will be wiped out in mere minutes. It's like an odd fetish. Most people won't get it and probably look at you funny when you try to explain it to them, but you get it, and you love it. I don't really understand why this next game is getting an HD remake, but Cell Damage HD is coming out for the PlayStation Vita, PS3, and PS4 on April 22nd. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because, honestly, Cell Damage wasn't a very good game. For those who don't know, it was a cartoon-style car combat game with some janky controls and unlikable characters. But hey, if that floats your boat, then go for it. NES Remix 2 is coming to the Wii U, and it'll proceed to do what its predecessor tried and kinda sorta did. Put a weird spin on old Nintendo classics. The sequel, if you can call it that, will have a new bundle of games to remix, like Dr. Mario, Ice Hockey, and Punch-Out. I'd probably wait for the reviews though. The last one tried its hand at this with some middling success, and I don't know if this one will be so lucky. Or they've actually learned from their mistakes and improved upon the core problems. It's a gamble. The Quiet Ones is a horror movie that focuses on a group of university students who try to create a poltergeist, because university students are full of great ideas. Next, they get a tattoo and sign up for a bunch of free credit cards. Anyway, they try to create this poltergeist by using a dangerously disturbed young woman's tormented mind, which is probably the dumbest idea ever. It's like these characters are trying to get themselves killed. Anyway, unsurprisingly, something goes bad and they all get slaughtered or something. This movie seems dumb. The Other Woman caters to both men and women. It caters to women by being a comedy that focuses on girls who have been cheated on and them getting their revenge on their mutual, lying, three-timing jerk of a significant other. It caters to men because Kate Upton is in it. It is truly a movie for the whole family. Finally, our last movie of the week is Brick Mansions, a movie about a dystopian Detroit that is filled with dangerous criminals. The late Paul Walker teams up with parkour stuntman David Bell in an action-filled flick that has antagonists who are actually named RZA and Gauchy Boy. Like, that is their actual names. If you like action, parkour, and weird dystopian futures, you should check this flick out. And God, whose name is frickin' RZA? Alright, boys and girls, that's the end of this show. This week looks really good. Our amount of content, and most of it doesn't look terrible. Kevin, signing out.